Hey, what's up guys? This is Nine Lives coming at you with the second episode of my Sniper Secret series for Call of Duty World War II. This series is all about helping you get as good as you possibly can at sniping and quickscoping in this game. So it's full of tips and tricks and strategies that you can use to get an edge on your opponents when you're playing this game. And it's all about sniping, so if that sounds good to you, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an episode of this series. And today what we're going to be talking about is the new scope and speeds after patch for the snipe rifles, as well as how to swap weapons faster. We're also going to be talking about the exact fire rates for all the snipe rifles, as well as how the different variants affect scope and speeds with the snipe rifles now. And to finish it up, we're going to talk about some wall bang spots that you can try out. So I hope you guys will enjoy this second episode of Sniper Secrets. If you missed the first episode, I'll link it in the top right corner of the screen now so you can check it out afterwards. It'll show you how to get aim assist for quick scoping. Definitely useful to know how to do that. So check it out if you haven't seen it already. And let's get on with the second episode. All right, guys, so in the latest Call of Duty World War II patch, they changed the scope and speeds of the Car 98K and the Lee Enfield. So the Car 98K now scopes in in 384 milliseconds. That's up from the previous 334 milliseconds. So it went from being the fastest snipe rifle to scope in with to now the slowest snipe rifle to scope in with. It's tied with the Springfield now, and it's 50 milliseconds slower than it used to be. So it's a pretty significant change. And one of the questions that I want to answer in this video is whether or not the Car 98K is still the go-to snipe rifle for sniping and quick scoping now that we've had this balancing update to the snipe rifles because the Lee Enfield has got a pretty good buff. I mean, relative to what happened to the Car 98K, the Lee Enfield's looking pretty attractive now. Before the Lee Enfield wasn't all that popular, but now it's scoping in, and as you can see here in the bottom right, 367 milliseconds and that's down from 384 milliseconds previously which is what the car 98k is at now so the car 98k and the springfield both scope in at 384 milliseconds and the lee enfield is 17 milliseconds faster than both of them so what does that mean for us what snipe rifle should we be using now that's one of the things that i want to answer in this video and i also wanted to answer a question from last time because i recommended that you try this custom class setup where you're running two primary weapons uh, two snipe rifles by using the rifleman basic training you're allowed to have two primary weapons and a really key component to that is being able to swap weapons faster because then you can basically insta swap instantly swap between the primary snipe rifle and your secondary snipe rifle and that's really great for hitting montage clips or even if you don't record for montages just for fun so uh in this case i'm going to be using the springfield and the car 98k because both of them have the same scope and speed now so it actually flows pretty naturally between these two and basically what an insta swap is is switching weapons faster than you'd usually be able to so that's 784 milliseconds to weapon swap there and in order to do this, this is a button combo, triangle, R1, triangle, or you could also do R1, triangle, triangle. There's two methods to do it. On Xbox One, that would look like Y, R, B, Y, or R, B, Y, Y. I actually prefer the first method on the top. I think you can go a little bit faster with it. The only other thing you need to know about this is that I'm using a sticky grenade as my lethal because I can pull that out and then tuck it away again to cancel the animation that usually would happen when I'm swapping weapons. You could also use a concussion or something like that, but then I believe it would be on L1 or LB. And as you can see, this cuts a lot of time off of your weapon swap. A regular weapon swap is one second and 118 milliseconds. And that can definitely make the difference of hitting that weapon swap clip for a montage. All right, so let's jump back to this comparison. Let's try the Car 98K versus the Springfield versus the Lee Enfield in terms of fire rate, which one can actually shoot the fastest. So the actual application of this would be when you're facing multiple enemies. So if you're running around quick scoping with a sniper rifle and then you face three enemies at the same time, all of a sudden you turn a corner and then all of a sudden there's three enemies there. Maybe there's four enemies, maybe there's five enemies, six enemies. The higher your fire rate, the better off you're going to be in that situation. So the Car 98K has a fire rate and the way I'm measuring it is just between shots here when I'm trying to shoot as fast as I can is about 1.2 seconds between shots. And that's just me spamming the shoot button on the controller trying to shoot as fast as I can. And of course, I'm just no scoping here because this is just for testing purposes. But in an actual live match, you'd have a bit of a rhythm to it. Like you'd have a rhythm to how you're scoping in and shooting the enemies and you'd know roughly your fire rate. So the faster fire rate, you can utilize it while you're quick scoping. It's just about knowing that timing and uh, you can kind of incorporate that into the way you take your shots when there's multiple enemies involved. So now that we've got the Springfield up here, we can definitely see that the fire rate is a little bit slower than the Car 98K. I'm sure you guys knew that if you've used both of the weapons, you could probably tell the fire rate is slower on the, the Springfield. Uh, it's about 100 milliseconds slower. So you can see the counter is going up to about uh, 1.3 seconds and uh, that can be a pretty major difference when you have 
three or four enemies in front of you. Because if they're all looking at you, you don't have much time between shots to make sure that you're taking them all out. You have very limited time. So of course you want to be dipping and dodging while the enemies are trying to shoot you, trying to make yourself a difficult target, moving all over the place. But um, you're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage with the Springfield as opposed to the uh, the Car 98K in a situation where there's multiple enemies in front of you. Uh, just because the fire rate's a little bit slower on the Springfield. So looking at the Lee Enfield now, this gun actually has a pretty good fire rate. So if we look at the counter, it's going up to about 1.1. 1.1 so it's actually faster than the car 98k and you know what this was news to me i didn't realize that <laughs> the lee enfield is faster than the the car 98k between shots until i actually put it in here and did and did this testing um i always thought that the lee enfield had a slower fire rate than the car 98k but now looking at this i know the lee enfield has a faster fire rate by about 100 milliseconds so it goes uh the lee enfield is about 1.1 the car 98k is about 1.2 and then the springfield is about 1.3 and remember this is all with uh, rapid fire equipped so not only does the lee enfield now have the fastest scope and speed so the fastest ads of all the bolt action snipe rifles but it also has the fastest fire rate which i guess it always has but i just didn't realize it also had the fastest fire rate because before not very many people would use a lee enfield since uh it didn't have much going for it but now this is starting to look a little bit more appealing so i've got one more thing i want to compare between the car 98k and the lee enfield and then i'll kind of weigh in on what i think is the best gun to be using if you want a quick scope right now and make sure you're staying tuned after that as well because we're going to go over some crazy wall bangs like i showed you guys at the beginning of the video but i'll show you a tutorial on how to actually hit the wall bang so um the last thing that I want to do to compare these two snipe rifles, though, is talk a little bit about the variants and what's going on with the, the variants for the, the Car 98K and actually the Lee Enfield as well right now. So I believe it was Spratty who figured out that the torpedo variant of the Car 98K never got nerfed. It still has the original scope and speed of 334 milliseconds and uh, all the other variants have the nerfed scope and speed so all the other variants scope in uh, 50 milliseconds slower except for the torpedo now please do not buy supply drops trying to get the torpedo variant because i bet you it's going to be fixed pretty soon and even if you do get the torpedo variant the chances of you being able to use it for very long before it gets fixed is pretty slim um i would only use it if you already have it because it's you know pre-nerf so it's 50 milliseconds faster than everybody else but don't buy supply drops searching for the torpedo because it is a glitch but if you have it you're in luck so let's move on to the lee enfield this is the grease variant of the Lee Enfield and it scopes in in 384 milliseconds so that is the pre-buff scope and speed actually so if you're going to be using the greased variant right now you're actually going to be putting yourself at a disadvantage because you should be able to scope in one frame faster but they never buffed the greased variant for some reason just like what happened with the torpedo they just left it out so moving right along to the royal variant now and uh man this sniper rifle has a pretty nice inspect animation I don't think I've seen it uh before inspecting the royal anything this detailed pretty cool but uh, the scope and speed is 384 milliseconds. So the Royal also did not receive the buff. So if you have the Royal, or if you have the, the greased variant of the Lee Enfield, don't use them right now because you're not getting the advantage that they're supposed to have post buff of being able to scope in 17 milliseconds faster. And 17 milliseconds might not seem like a big deal, but if you're quick scoping, every frame counts and every 17 milliseconds counts. 17 milliseconds is approximately how long there is in a frame. So. Uh, moving on to the roundabout here, the roundabout actually did get the buff. So it's 367 milliseconds. This is the speed that it's actually supposed to be scoping in. And uh, that's 17 milliseconds faster. So if you're using the roundabout, keep on using the roundabout. It's working as intended, but there's clearly a couple variants there that you want to watch out for, for now, at least until they fix this glitch. So if you want to actually scope in faster, you should be using either the roundabout or the default variant. So to summarize everything that we've gone over here, you want to be using the Lee Enfield default or the Lee Enfield roundabout right now, at least until they fix that glitch. The pros of the Lee Enfield is that it has a fast ADS, fast fire rate, highest ammo capacity, and it has aim assist. And the only downside really is that it has the lowest damage of the bolt action snipe rifles, but you can still get one shot kills with it. The torpedo variant of the Car 98K is also going to be a great choice if you have it already, but don't go seeking it because they're going to patch it pretty soon. 
uh, but it does have the fastest ADS of any of the bolt action snipe rifles at the moment. That is of course because it hasn't been nerfed yet, which it was supposed to have been. Other than that, it's pretty middle of the pack for a bolt action snipe rifle. It has a medium fire rate, medium capacity, medium damage, and there's no possibility to get aim assist with it for quick scoping like you can with the Lee Enfield as I explained in my previous sniper secrets video. So based on everything we've reviewed now, I'm going to go ahead and say that the Lee Enfield is the clear winner here. Now that it's scoping in faster and I found out that it actually has the fastest fire rate of all the bolt action snipe rifles, it really has everything going for it. Literally the only disadvantage is that it's a little bit weaker than the other snipe rifles, but I really haven't found that to be much of an issue. The Car 98K is only really competitive with it now because the torpedo variant hasn't been nerfed yet, but as soon as that's nerfed it's not really going to stack up I don't think. And uh, the Springfield is just too slow, it scopes in too slow, I don't really think it <laughs> really came close in the comparison so I didn't even put it in the final two summary but I still definitely like the Springfield because it feels like it has a little bit of personality and I'll continue to use it a lot but if you want the actual best gun to be using in terms of quick scoping and sniping uh, I'll have to say that's probably going to be the Lee Enfield now uh, unless anything else changes balancing wise and I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to hear my thoughts on the balancing changes to the sniper rifles what do I think of the Car 98k nerf what do I think of the Lee Enfield buff I've tried to keep my opinion out of this video in particular because my next video is gonna go really in depth into that. And it's more complicated than some of my previous videos have been. Uh, my previous videos, I mean, if you've seen them, I've talked a lot about weapon balance, especially with the snipe rifles and whether or not they're overpowered. And I tend to back up everything with evidence and I use numbers to support my opinion and everything like that. Now, this new video will be kind of along the same lines, but a lot bigger. And I think you guys will really like it. So um, just needs a little bit more time to get everything together. It's gonna be a very constructive video. I wanna position it in a way where it might actually be helpful to developers or people working on the game. And uh, I wanna provide solutions that are feasible and see where we can go from there. So let's move on to some of these wall bangs that I have for you guys to try out. If you guys are unfamiliar with the term wall bang, it's when you shoot a sniper rifle through a wall to kill an enemy. And these are ones that should be easy to replicate so you can try it yourself in your own public matches and see if you can get some kills. So this one right here, it's pretty simple. You just take a shot over the box and uh, it goes through this wall. I am using FMJ, it helps your bullet uh, penetration go, go through the walls and uh, kill the enemies a little bit more effectively without getting hit markers. And this is where it landed. So right uh, behind the barrels there, it's pretty good for search and destroy or um, even just a random shot in a team deathmatch or something, something to try out in case they're coming out of spawn there. And uh, here's the next one. So standing on this little circle of grass, if you stand right directly on top of that and aim over to this door, um, just to the right of the doorknob, just slightly to the right of the doorknob, you can shoot there. And that's actually gonna go to the entrance into the middle building. Now the entrance into the middle building is a very high traffic area. And that's why this can be useful because if you see where these bodies are piled up, um, a lot of times people like to camp around this area because it's so high traffic that the enemy sometimes will just sit here and wait for people to try and go up the stairs in this building. And um, you can shut them down, especially if you know that they've been there and they've been camping around that area in that door. It's pretty common on this map. And uh, as you saw, you can take them out through the building and you can try and incorporate that into a clip if you want, if you're recording for a montage, if you just wanna try it out just for fun, even if you're not recording. And as you can see, this is kind of the, the scenario where people usually set up for that. So moving on, uh, another really common place for people to be is right behind this car on the other side of this wall. And it's very easy to shoot through that. You can even line it up on the mini map. You'll notice that uh, in this private match, we have radar always on, so it's even easier for us to line up the shots. But I mean, you can see where that car is from the other side of that wall. And a lot of times you get two or three people lining up behind that car and you could probably get a collateral pretty easily on that spot because it's a very popular spot to kind of head glitch on that car and then look down mid. So definitely try that one out. I think you guys will get some kills there for sure. Um, here's another one. So this is kind of towards the enemy spawn. A lot of times I'll like to run through mid and then behind that truck and take a look at that lane down behind the barrels. But this is actually a pretty high traffic area that usually you wouldn't be able to otherwise reach from that position. So a lot of people spawn here and then come through this door you can shoot them through the window though, and they won't have a chance. So as you can see, um, I actually am able to line this up pretty consistently by standing on these rocks. And then you wanna aim just on the, the edge of this window, like kind of on the cement part, in line with the second line of the wood, and just standing on these rocks here. 
and uh, you can take your shot and it'll go through that doorway. And that's a pretty decent choke point since the enemies are basically spawning right there and then running through the door. So they might even pile up for you. Now, this is a little bit of a more common spot for people to try and wallbang at the beginning of a match. So um, again, it's my friend Banshee, by the way, who's uh, helping me demo all this. So that was his kill cam just to show what it looks like. And now I'll show you how to actually line that up. So just to kind of um, show you guys what exactly is going on here. At the beginning of a match, tons of people run through this door. Especially depending on the game mode, Banshee actually has a clip in Gridiron that I'll show you in just a minute where everybody's running through this middle part. And uh, what you can do is you can stand on this triangle on the ground. See, there's like a triangle like just on the line of that shadow there. And if you stand right on top of that, it looks kind of like a little house or something. Stand right on top of that. And what you want to do is you want to line this up so you're shooting just on the edge of that red kind of frame around the, the boarded up window right there. And that's actually in line with the shoulder of that soldier on the lower poster. So it's nice to be able to line it up so you can consistently hit it perfectly every time right through the door. I would definitely encourage you to try some of these out yourself. They're just for fun. And if you can incorporate them into a montage clip, then that's gonna be amazing. Uh, actually, I'll show you Banshee's clip in just a moment and you can get an idea of what it might look like. Um, by the way, I have a top 10 play series. So if you guys are recording your own montage clips, you can submit them to my top 10 plays and be featured on my channel. I'm actually thinking of doing top 20 plays for the next one because it's been a little while since I've done a top 10 play. So if you wanna get uh, into the action and be featured on my channel and have your channel linked in the description like a little bit of a shout out please do check out the link in the description down below and the link in the top pinned comment there i'll have a, a link to where you can submit your clips to be featured in the top 20 plays i think it's gonna be top 20 we'll see but uh, anyways here's banshee's clip if you want to see what it looks like kind of in a montage clip scenario he doesn't use the exact same spot but you can kind of see how he gets two wall bangs and then he runs out to the right picks up another two kills for the quad feed so pretty cool clip and it's just to give you some inspiration on what you could potentially do with some of those wall bangs on the screen now i have the link to my previous sniper secrets episode so if you want to learn how to get aim assist for quick scoping in call of duty world war ii make sure you check that video out and subscribe if you haven't already if you want to keep up to date with all the latest sniper secrets see you guys in the next video peace